Now turns to part four. Part four. Now listen to the second part of the lecture. As you listen, complete the notes below. First, you have some time to look at questions 31 to 40. Now listen carefully and answer questions 31 to 40. Many typically American characteristics, individualism, self-reliance, informality, punctuality and directness are a result of those values mentioned earlier. Other national traits could also be identified, however. 1. Americans cooperate. Although often competitive, Americans also have a good sense of teamwork and cooperate with others to achieve a goal. 2. Americans are friendly, but in their own way. In general, friendships among Americans tend to be shorter and more casual than friendships among people from other cultures. This has something to do with American mobility and the fact that Americans do not like to be dependent on other people. Americans also tend to compartmentalise friendships, having friends at work, family friends, friends on the softball team, etc. 3. Americans ask a lot of questions, some of which may to you seem pointless, uninformed or elementary. Someone you have just met may ask you very personal questions. No impertinence is intended. The questions usually grow out of a genuine interest. 4. Americans tend to be internationally naive. Many Americans are not very knowledgeable about international geography or world affairs. They may ask uninformed questions about current events and may display ignorance of world geography. Because the US is not surrounded by many other nations, some Americans tend to ignore the world. 5. Silence makes Americans nervous. Americans are not comfortable with silence. They would rather talk about the weather than deal with silence in a conversation. 6. Americans are open and usually eager to explain. If you do not understand certain behaviour or want to know what makes Americans tick, do not hesitate to ask questions. Just as values and traits differ somewhat from one culture to another, so do the personal habits associated with good manners and courtesy. While very often there does not seem to be any particular reason why a particular way of doing something is considered good manners, observing these cultural rules will make Americans more comfortable with you and therefore you with them. It is, of course, Impossible to cover all the possibilities here. If you are unsure in a situation, just ask. Americans like to be helpful. 1. Queuing up or lining up is essential. Courtesy requires that you do not push from behind, stand next to the person being helped, or cut into a line. If you should accidentally bump someone, you should say, Excuse me. Two. Americans blow their noses into a tissue. Spitting, clearing phlegm or sniffing as from a cold are considered rude. 3. It is considered poor manners to slurp, chew noisily or open your mouth while chewing. 4. Questions are seen as a good way of getting acquainted, but questions about a person's age, financial affairs, cost of clothing or personal belongings, Religious affiliations and sex life are considered too personal for questioning, except between very close friends. 5. 
Men generally do not hold hands or link arms in public with other men. This is somewhat more acceptable between women and quite common between men and women. Now, a few words about personal safety. Unfortunately, in the US, one must be aware of crimes. It is wise to be especially careful until you are familiar with the community in which you live. Remember that good judgment and common sense can significantly reduce chances of having an unpleasant and perhaps harmful experience. Basic safety rules include the following 1. Do not walk alone at night. 2. When you leave your room, apartment, or automobile, make sure that all doors are locked and all windows are secured. 3. Do not carry too much cash. Or wear jewelry of great value. 4. Never accept a ride from a stranger. Do not hitchhike and do not pick up hitchhikers. 5. Be careful of purses and wallets, especially in crowded metropolitan areas where there may be purse snatchers and pickpockets. 6. If a robber threatens you at home or on the street, Try not to resist unless you feel that your life is in danger and you must fight or run away. Give up your valuables as calmly as you can and observe as much as possible about the robber to tell the police when you report the crime. A final note Keep an open mind. Don't judge what you see as right or wrong, but make it a challenge to try to understand the variety of American behaviours which you may observe. You certainly do not have to participate in something you disagree with, but you can try to understand it. This will help you build an attitude of intelligent and liberated respect for cultures, both your own and others. That is the end of part four. You now have half a minute to check your answers. Hi, this is Old Spob. I would very much appreciate it if you could like, subscribe, and share this video, as this will enable me to help more old students reach their old goals. Very much appreciate it. Thank you.